Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am showing you this time-lapse video of this painting that I created live on Twitch. If you didn't know, I stream on Twitch three days a week, every Tuesday and Thursday at 9 p.m. PST and Sundays at 11 a.m. So I started out by sketching out the flower with just my pastel pencils and now I'm going in with the pan pastels to put in the background. What I love about pans is that you can get these really soft, beautiful, blended backgrounds with little effort. Like seriously, I always tell everybody that pan pastels are the easiest medium to work in and anybody can use them, even beginners, and create something really realistic. By the way, the paper I am using is Pam Pastel and it comes in a pad. I believe these are like nine and a quarter by seven and a half or something like that. So I'm just working straight in the book like a sketchbook. Pastel matte is the best paper. I'd highly recommend this paper. I haven't used anything really other than pastel matte for my um, Pam Pastels, but it is such a great paper and you will get awesome results. So right here I'm just using my blending stump and I am just going over the entire background just really pushing that um, pan pastel into the paper just to get it even more smooth. And now that I have that done, I am going in with my pencils. You can go with pans as a base for your subject as well, which oftentimes I usually do, but for this, because it is so small, I thought I would just go straight in with my pencils. So the pencils that I'm using are Carbothello um, pastel pencils, and I have just a variety of greens and teal colors that I'm gonna use to kind of just layer up until it looks how I want. I started with my lightest pencil to just quickly sketch in those leaves and now I'm going with the darkest color to um, just put in those dark values and those shadows there and then I will just use all the different greens in between to kind of fill in those gaps and I'm just going to work like that until it looks exactly how I want. One reason I really love working with pastels, specifically on pastel matte paper, is that it really holds the layers. You can like layer this up and it's just going to look so beautiful, so realistic. As long as you're not layering too much pan pastel at first. Um, I know people have trouble with that sometimes, so you have to just, when you're thinking about using pans and if you're going to use pencils on top, just think of it as an under layer. So you really don't need that much to go down with the pans. You just want a light under layer and then you can do all your details on top with the pencils. But if you're just working with your the pencils like I am here on the flower, I can really do tons of layers, especially if I'm using my blending stump in between to kind of push the... Um, you know pigment into the paper and it's just really fast also that's probably the second reason I like using these is that it's a really fast medium you could get something done like a big project done really quick probably half the time that it takes me to do like an acrylic piece right here I am just um, filling in those petals now and adding those water drops and I just think those water drops get make it look so much more realistic and they're just so pretty and water droplets are actually really easy to do. Everybody thinks they're kind of hard, but if you just look, it, all it is is lights and darks and, and like a highlight. It's super easy, um, and they just make it, the piece look so much more real. And just... So I'm just going to continue to work on those flower petals and just add a few more water droplets as I go. And this piece actually, I think it took me from start to finish, was of only about two hours. So it's really quick to work in. So that's about it for this one. Um, so if you guys enjoyed this and if you'd like to watch me paint live, please follow me on Twitch. My name is Shauna8567. And yeah, like I said, every Tuesday and Thursday and Sunday, you guys can come watch me paint live and I give some tips and tricks on painting. So yeah, I really appreciate the support. I hope you like this video and see you next time. Bye.